Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Fallout 4 mods. This time, we got some Raptor Claws. First up is Raptor Claw by Vargan14. Now you too can be a clever girl with this Raptor Claw. A nice little NIF scope edit, this combines three hooks into a Raptor Claw that any Dino Dino would be jealous of. Damage is 70 with a swing speed of fast. Farmant Rifle, The Return by AzXAz. Another classic Fallout gun makes a return to Fallout. This includes the regular rifle along with two unique versions. The standard rifle has a bunch of mods for you to customize it with. There are 8 receivers, 2 barrels, 3 magazines, 12 sights, a muzzle brake, and a suppressor. There's also an option for blue or black tape on the buttstock if you want. It's just cosmetic, but it does look nice. Look at that tape. You also get 8 different finishes for you to paint your gun as well. These range from different wood finishes and camo patterns. The two unique versions of the weapon are the Rat Slayer, which does more damage as night grows longer, along with the unique finish. And the other gun is the Laz Gun, which sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage and shows just how much you like smoking the weed. That's what the kids call it. The weed. I never really used the Varmint Rifle in previous Fallout games, but this mod is awesome and I just love the look and feel of it, and I'll probably be having this one in my game for a while. German MP40 for the Commonwealth by Evolution of Waffles. This brings back the classic weapon to the Commonwealth, and it looks pretty good too. Concerning mods, there are 8 receivers, 6 barrels, 2 stocks, 2 magazines, a compensator, and a suppressor. This weapon has a top damage of 90, and the fire rate is 90 as well, so it's pretty nice. AK-74 Russian Assault Rifle by Master Shifu. This is a huge collection of AK-74s. Included is the standard 74. You've also got 74M, U, 104, and the RPK-74, along with two unique versions. There's the kneecapper, which has a 20% chance to cripple target's legs, and then the Sentinel's converted AKS-74U, which allows 15% less damage while standing and not moving on whoever's using it. These all look fantastic. The amount of mods is ridiculous. I'm actually just going to put a picture up from the description of how many mods are available for the different weapons. Just a huge selection. Really well made, they look good, they sound good, beautiful weapons. WH-77 Modular LSW Redux by Skibida. Another update to some previously released weapons, the WH-77 is looking beautiful with its brand new facelift. Included are 14 receivers, 5 barrels, 4 stocks, 6 magazines, 13 scopes, 3 muzzles, an option for a front sight, material mods, and 4 options for rounds. Round options include jacketed soft paint, full metal jacket, jacketed hollow point, and armor piercing. Material mods include plain, army, desert, forest, and navy. This thing is a beast and just aiming it at raiders and just blowing them into tiny bits is awesome. Fantastic stuff. Wasteland Melody's Heavy Machine Gun by Wasteland Melody. And for today's second big ass gun, we've got a 50 cal. There are 8 receivers, 3 barrels, and 3 sights. There are no reload animations, so you'll be shooting non stop with this baby. No reloading, just shooting, shooting all day. Another really satisfying weapon, just looks great, shoots great, and overall, good stuff. Doom Mask by Doom. So this is the actual mask that Doom wears in real life, so as you can see it's pretty stylish. There are two versions, the regular and then a gold one if it's a special occasion like a Wednesday or Flag Day. Each mask has a damage resistance of 3 and charisma of plus 2. Holstered Weapons by Azar, another holstered weapon mod, this one contains some pretty nice backpacks and holsters for pistols. Included is a 10mm on the hip, thigh, holstered rifle, holstered shotgun, shotgun and rifle holster together, and 9 backpacks of varying color with a rifle. Each holstered item provides a small amount of damage resistance and the backpacks don't add any increase to carry weight. Jedi Robes Bathrobe Replacer by Crimson Rider. This adds two different types of Jedi robes you'll have to choose when you download unfortunately, but hey, you gotta make that choice. You can't be both light side and dark side. So you have the choice of the brown robes or the black robes if you want to go more Sith. Wonder Woman by Crimson Rider. This includes the Wonder Woman outfit with bracelets, lasso, tiara, and outfit as separate pieces. There's also two optional outfits where only the leg guards are included, and then one where you're completely barefoot. The perfect mod just in time for Halloween, the Pumpkin Pack by Edible Grenade 12. Included in this pack are two pumpkin masks, one with no head, and another with a sack hood. 
Spooky. Also included are two melee weapons along with a gourd nade to spice things up. The first weapon is called Pumpkin Spice and the second is Pumpkin Squash. Each gourd nade gives out a sinister laugh with each explosion. There's also one new settlement object, a jack-o'-lantern. You can find that under Decorations Misk. Happy Halloween, everyone. Commonwealth Stormtroopers by DoD EXD. More Star Wars apparel. This one includes the necessary parts to become a stormtrooper. Included is the armor, helmet, backpack, and pauldrons. Pauldrons included are enlisted, unit leader, and sergeant. And the damage resistance on all of the armor parts is pretty impressive as well. Armor looks awesome and it goes perfect with any of the other Star Wars mods that we've reviewed. And pretty soon you'll be able to just change the whole game to Star Wars, I'm pretty sure. Right-handed hunting rifle by AzXAz. The right-handed hunting rifle changes the animation so the rifle faces the right. How many times can I say right? Right. You're given the option to have this as a replacer or a standalone. And there's also an option for a new firing sound which I've installed. And it sounds pretty good. True Frags, watch out for shrapnel by Make Fallout Great Again Committee. This mod adds actual shrapnel to frag grenades when they explode, which can then hurt you and anyone else in the vicinity. When installing, you're given the choice of three damage settings, low, medium, and high, and depending on which one you choose, shrapnel will cause more damage. I've chosen high, and as you can see, it's pretty effective. This is a really cool gameplay idea, and it definitely makes Fallout Great Again. Good job, guys. Your committee, you did it. Weird mod of the week! For this week, we've actually got two weird mods, so let's get started. First off is the Robot Horseman by Red Portal. You ever wish you could combine your love of horses and robotics? Well, with Robotic Horseman, this dream's a reality. With two options of Robotic Legs, Sentry Horse, and Sentry Horse Pro. That's the one with the legs up. Now your giddy up buttercup can get your death machines around no problem. Delicious. Fist of the North Sean by Sponge Mana. Taking care of children's always difficult, so why not let off some steam and show that baby how you really feel? Now with the Fist of the North Sean, you can. The first step is to attach the baby directly to your fist. Then pummel it into anything to relieve that stress. Ghouls, wood, even metal. Fist of the North Sean does it all. Now with crying baby sounds. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll check it out. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I shall see you in the future. Away.